Hi, I'm Ken, and this is Adventures in 3D Printing. How many batarangs does it take to solve a problem? So I was really excited this morning. I thought I knew, I, I knew the problem and I knew the fix. So immediately I went downstairs and started printing a new batarang. Actually, before I started printing, I went through and did a, a Z-axis adjustment. I adjusted it down tighter. And again, that problem with it not, you know, it, it would extrude lumps and then real thin line and then lump and real thin. So I had it too tight. I knew I had it too tight. I had gone down to ne negative 0 0.981, which is where I thought I had it. And that was too close. So I backed it off. I ran, I don't know, of three or four Z-axis calibrations until I got it to where I thought but I probably had a pretty good print. And that was at negative 0.950. So once I had that, I went ahead and I printed a battering. And the first one, as it was printing, I noticed that there was a gap in that first layer between the outside edge and the infill. Not really the infill, it's the inside of, the, of that bottom layer. So I went into the Delta Z calibration that you can do while it prints, and I cranked it up a little higher to negative uh, 0.975. Let it print, and when it was done, I looked at it. It looked pretty good. It still wasn't as smooth as, as the first Batarang that I printed, but I noticed that down near the build plate, it had a layer shift, and it was significant. In fact, you could, looking at the points of the ears, you could see it, it had four ears. Well, all right, I thought that's probably because I was fiddling with the Z-axis while it was printing. So, I laid off the plate, and I printed another one, and I just let it print. No fiddling with it. It came out, and yes, yeah, still has uh, the layer shift, and it still had that gap between the outside edge and the the rest of the layer. All right, so the z-axis didn't fix that problem, and it seems to have caused a new one. So I got online. I love the Prusa forums. Prusa forums are fantastic. I went in there and I typed layer shift, and it gave me 76 pages of results. I didn't have to go through looking through too many. I got page two, I think, is where I found an answer. And the answer was that the x-axis belt was too loose. It was slipping. It wasn't a full slip, you know, where where the printer can detect a loose pulley, but it was it had some slop in it. Okay, I, absolutely, I can believe that. I spent all day yesterday playing with that belt. So I loosened up the motor mounts and I took the uh, tensioning screw and I twisted a couple turns, and then I tightened up the motor mounts again, and I printed out another Batarang, and this time there was no layer shift. It's still not as smooth as that first Batarang. I, I don't know what I did. I absolutely lucked into the perfect print, if I had, except for that tensioning of the belt, which was causing the, the extruder to go all the way to the right and lose its mind. Everything else was working fine. So I've tightened up the belt not nearly as tight as it was, but it's tighter than I had it this morning. And I noticed that the gap on that first layer between the outside line and, and the rest of the layer has disappeared. And I printed out the Batarang, and I noticed that it no longer has that, that layer shift. It's only got two ears. Move this so you can see it. So as opposed to, let's see here. There's one. There's a good, here's a good one to show you. This one has... Uh, so I can so you can see it. Yeah, it's got four ears. And you can see on this side, this side, you can see that it's it's got uh, layer issue problems. So going online and checking the forums worked fantastic. And if I can put these in a way so you can see them both. The layer lines up here. 
Yeah, it's a little hard to tell on the video. I've got some images that I will have put up to show you the difference. So basically what I found was that dropping that z-axis gives me a thicker line, which is what I want. As long as it's not so thick that it's scraping the bed, you know, and not extruding properly, you have to watch that. And, you know, all you can do is, is run the calibration over and over again until it looks good. Uh, I can't give you a number to put yours at because every printer is going to be different. On the plus side, if you bought a built, a pre-built printer, that should all be set up. I, I would expect that to be pretty much done for you. Same with the belt tensioning on all the axes. They should be properly tensioned and you should probably never have to, do, to fiddle with them. But layer shift, I have now discovered layer shift. And I have discovered the cause and the fix. And that is absolutely worth the time and effort I took in figuring out what was going on. I got a really good print. I'm Batman. If you think this video is awesome, click the like button. If you think a lot of my videos are awesome, click the subscribe button. If you think I'm awesome, click the subscribe star button up in the header. Wait, is that what it's supposed to say? Who's writing these scripts?